distinguished colleagues, we have before us another nominee, and very coincidentally, one of us, His Excellency Ibrahim Gaidam. You're welcome. You know the procedure. You, you, you've always been here. This is your, this is your chamber. Yeah, you've been in, uh, in fact, even currently, you just left your seat there. So we want to use this opportunity to tell Mr. President for recognizing our colleagues and then finding them worthy to also cross over to the Federal Executive Council to serve the country. Uh, you have anything you like to add, otherwise you greet your colleagues and in line with the act, which I just read out, uh, CAP 208, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria Privileges uh, and uh, enjoyed by members of the Senate and the Legislature. Uh, you, you do the needful. I can introduce myself, Nanoko. My name is uh, Senator Ibrahim Gedem. I was born in Bukerti village, former Gedem local government, on 15 September 1956. I went to Inusari Primary School for my primary education from 1963 to 1969. I proceeded to Borno Teachers College for my grade two certificate. I completed the Teachers College in the year 1979. Thereafter, I was posted as a primary school teacher. I taught for some two, three years before proceeding to Amori Bello University for my diploma in accounting certificate. I completed the diploma certificate the diploma course in 1983. I went back to Borno State and employed as an audit officer with my diploma certificate. I worked there for about three, four years. I went back to Amontevelo University to pursue my degree certificate in accounting. I completed in 1990. I then went back to or no state. I was posted to the governor's office as an accountant before Yobe was created in 1991. We were all deployed to Yobe State. I was an accountant, assistant director, finance, principal accountant, up to director finance and supplies in various ministries in Yobe State. I was appointed commissioner and posted to the Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Social Development in 1995. In 1996, I was posted to Ministry of Commerce and Industry in the Obi State. I led by office as Director of Finance and Supply. In those days, um, if you are working as a civil servant or public officer, you will be allowed to go on steady leave without fee. So, I left my office as director of finance and supply and then got appointed commissioner. After the dissolution of the cabinet in 1997, I went back to the Ministry of Finance as deputy accountant general stroke director of final accounts. I was there then in 1998. I was deployed to the Ministry of Health as director of finance and supplies. Uh, 1990, 1999, when the Bill administration came in, I was appointed permanent secretary. The position I held up to February 2007 when I retired and joined politics. I ran with my boss, late Senator Momma Ali. I was his running mate. I, uh, I was his running mate. So we won the election and I was his deputy 
uh, for about 20 months. Thereafter, my boss died, and I, I was sworn in as the governor of Yorba State on 27th January 2009. So I completed his tenure. In 2011, I contested and won election, and I became the executive governor of Yorba State. Also in, in 2015, I contested and won and became executive governor of Yorba State for a second time. And uh, in 2019, I, I, after expiration of my tenure, two terms, I contested for senatorial seats in Yorba East. I won. I came to this Hado chamber. And the same thing applied in 2023. And this is why I am, I am now. Thank you. Thank you. I think at that time, the constitution was not amended. That if uh, an incumbent dies and the deputy takes over, the deputy will only be entitled to one tenor. Uh, so, so he enjoyed that privilege of uh, going for a clear eight years plus the unexpired residue of his uh, late principal. May the soul of his late principal rest in peace. Uh, Distinguished Senator, Nigerians know you more. You may step forward and enjoy your privilege.